Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my closed beta gameplay for a, a Kaniro Demon Hunters or Demon Hunter. So, like I said in the last video, by the end of the video, that I was just mostly gonna be, you know, working on missions. So that's what I'm really gonna do. So let's get down to it. And right now we're gonna start off with mission two, which is called Rotten Core. And let's see what it's about. It's more about demon wolves gathering great numbers at the Bleeding Grove or Orchard. Orchard. Yeah. Collect evidence of yokai influence from demon wolf corpses. Check the nearby alpha den for further clues. So I guess I'm going to have to take out a few more alphas. And let's get started. Like I said, I really don't know how much the... I really don't know how much the <clears throat> how much the loading is gonna take so yeah guys I'm gonna edit this part out and I'm gonna stop recording right here so yeah hey guys welcome back to mission 2 so we gotta investigate the alpha wolf then and as usual every mission is gonna take us to a different area the Shigamari River I forgot what the first word was, but yeah. Now I'm not really going to be sh showcasing to you guys all the clothes better, but if you guys really want to, just make sure you guys comment below on the video. And t tell me what you guys think. Tell me you guys want me to continue playing this game, because right now I'm really going to be... I can't afford to be playing closed betas, especially since I still have to, you know, finish uploading my Black Ops 2 walkthrough and my Lego Lord of the Rings walkthrough. And I think like on the 18th, I'm going to be uploading Epic Mickey The Power of Two, which is the sequel to the first game. And yeah, guys. But you know, I can always find a little bit of time. Uh, I don't think I'm really going to have some r right now. So yeah guys. This is probably going to be the final video for the Akaniro Demon Hunter close beta gameplay that I upload. So I'm going to make sure it's going to be longer than the first one that I uploaded for this game. So yeah guys. Wow, it looks like I got a few inventories. So, uh, let's see, four, four. Five, nine, nope. It's all useless stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and save it for later on. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Looks like I might be coming down with the cold, or it's either allergies. I'm not really sure. Hopefully not. That would really, really suck balls. Huh. I wonder why I can't really hit this thing right now. Oh, there we go. Just had to be in the right angle. Hopefully that gets fixed during the final product. One thing that I also been noticing about the enemy wolves, and it's just not the wolves, they wander off off the boundaries of the game. I don't know which if you guys know what boundaries are. It's usually these invincible walls where players can't really walk through because otherwise if they weren't really there, then players would often wonder through through areas that you know gets them lost it gets them nowhere and it looks like I'm gonna die don't die don't die I wonder if they have potions 
It also looks like the karma shards not only give you health points, but they also give you mana points, magic points. So, I guess we're gonna go inside this cave right here. Oh, and I thought I was gonna have to edit out the part with the loading screen, but it looks like there's no loading here. Thankfully, there wasn't. Ooh, a giant axe and a tunic. Let's see here. 520, 13 to 16. Uh, the hammer does, the great maw hammer does more damage than the axe. But the axe is, is a little bit more faster than the hammers. And it does a little bit, slightly the same damage as the great maw hammer. So I guess I'm just going to equip the great axe. And let's see this. It's the same one, so that that does it for now. One thing I've been noticing is that you guys have to wait. Like, if you right click, um, you guys perform a skill ability, and I'll showcase it to you guys right now. The one that I'm talking to, it's this one, the one where I guess you slash teleport, and you hit several enemies. And one thing that I noticed is you guys can't really use it repetitively. You guys have to wait for it to cool down. And I think it just takes about one second or two seconds. And I'm not really sure if this is really the case right here. But I think it might be a problem that this game is having. And revival prayer. I think I die. Don't know how that happened. I guess if you guys get surrounded, you guys want to use a skill. Hmm. I got what looks to be a hat. Two armor, two armors. Wow, well, it's both the same, but since I like the wolf hat palette thingy, I'm going to go ahead and just... Equip my character with it. So, yeah. Return to the... Um... Amano campsite. I seriously don't know where that's at. So, yeah. Um, here, hold up, guys. Let me check real quick. So once again, sorry you guys can hear the background music, it's just the water hose from outside, it's just water passing through the pipes, so yeah. Looks like these two amps, nope, there's more, they were just waiting for me. Kill the vile tongue, where is the vile tongue at? And no oh crap. Why didn't I just buy some health potions? Here, let me let me take care of the small imps because you know even though they're small and they're not as big as the boss, you guys don't really want to get carried away because the smaller enemies, when they surround you in great numbers, when there's more of them attacking you. Trust me guys, the damage will pile up and it'll eventually kill you a lot faster. So yeah, that's that's one thing that a lot of that a lot of people seem to forget about. So that's why they always end up dying a lot. So time to go back. Looks like I'm in barely in level 2 and the mission was a success. Next. Oh, 
Alrighty then. Um, let's see here. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get a partner. So I guess I'll just go with this guy. And I don't know how he's gonna really help me out. But whatever. Let's see what I can sell. Looks like, let me reload the screen again. I don't know why it's not showing up. Alright, whatever. So, I uh, guess I'll go ahead and just take on the, the next mission. So, as you guys can see, we're now on mission 3 and it's called Raging Ushi Oni. Damn it, I can't really pronounce these words right here. So it looks like a powerful Ushi has rallied the um, the inks to his banner to sow chaos on Yomi Island. And Nightfall infiltrate their territory, kill the imp captains, captains, and take the head of their leader. Ooh, sounds really great. So why don't we just get started. And again guys, sorry about the loading. There's nothing really I can do about it especially since my internet sucks but hopefully it goes a little bit faster once the game finishes once it's finally released on the final product hopefully they get dedicated servers or does or does web browsing video games work differently I'm not really that sure so yeah guys um, I'm gonna go ahead and start recording but I'll be back so hey guys welcome back to my to mission three and let's see what awaits us in this area right here I know that we're gonna be taking out three imp captains and we'll see what happens after I take all of them out I almost missed this chest over here. I don't know what the little spirit wolf is for. He's not really attacking anyone. But oh well. Wow, that took a long time to execute my ability. I was pressing down the right button on my mouse pad for like, no, not on my mouse pad, on my mouse. I was clicking the right button to deploy a ability and it seemed that it had to take me at least five right clicks just to perform the ability. So my best guess here is that it is a better problem. But you know, it's still a better, better is a better, and right now I'm really enjoying it. And I don't see myself not enjoying this game at all. 
and I'm not really gonna let anything change that so yeah I wonder who this guy is. Okay. You must put down the Oni captains, then you will have your chance to take down Ushi Oni. Alrighty then. Looks like there's just a couple of chests in this small hut house. Looks like I got everything, so time to head out. And it looks like I only took out one out of three only captains. So, I mean imp captains. So let's see how many more I can find. I don't know why but for some reason I feel that the enemies in this area are a little bit more well equipped or maybe that's just me I'm really not sure but everyone who's played a hack and slash action adventure game that you know allows players to adventure throughout the game's world they all know that some areas have well equipped enemies or stronger ones or stealthier ones but yeah that's just probably my guess it's not really that accurate but you know I just decided to throw that in in this video commentary so it looks like I took out two out of three imp captains imp captains so yeah I'm just gonna try to see and find the last one see if I can really find them and here he is So let's see, I have to gain access to the Yokai camp. I really don't know where that's at. So hopefully it's close around here somewhere. And sorry you guys can hear a lot of clicks, but sometimes I just like clicking the how out of the mouse. crap it looks like there's a lot of enemies up ahead on both sides to the left and to the right I'm just gonna go ahead and check out this small area over here see what they have looks like there was just a small chest over here They weren't so hard, especially thanks to my swath of destruction, that's what it's called. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be going into this cave, but hopefully it's where I'm supposed to be. And yes it is because my current objective changed to gain access to the campsite to defeat the Ushioni, so my guess is he's somewhere around here. And I wonder how long it's gonna take me to get to, to him. So yeah. I'm gonna check my inventory and see if I have anything better to use. 
And let's see. Looks like I equipped it. Alrighty then. Defeat the Uchi Uni. I, I guess he's not really here, guys. So false alarm. He shouldn't really be that far. Hopefully, he's not. And my guess is he's at the end of this area right here. Yep, this this is him right here. And it seems that I couldn't really walk away anywhere, so I don't know if that's like... I was stuck attacking the boss, so I really don't know why the character just stayed there. I seriously don't know how he took me out with that attack. But well, one more and he's out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and loot what's on the ground already and I'm gonna see if I got anything helpful. Anything better. So yeah guys, um, I don't know, you know, I guess this is it for the beta, I'm really not sure, but you know, like I said before, I really don't have a lot of time to be focusing on this close beta or make more videos for it, especially since I got like probably five more upcoming games that I'm going to have to be working on and making a walkthrough for. So yeah guys, um. It looks like I unlocked another area, but you know, I'm really not going to go ahead and play it. So I guess this is it for this closed beta, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So yeah, guys, this is Rise of Soldier, and I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay footage, beta footage.